Let us now take the first model from directions where the movement of a person from starting point to the destination is given in the question and we are supposed to answer questions based on that. Let us look at the question here. A vehicle starts from point P and runs 10 kilometers towards north. It then takes a right turn and runs 15 kilometers. It now runs 6 kilometers after taking a left turn and it finally takes a left turn, runs 15 kilometers and stops at point Q. And based on this movement, we need to answer the following questions. The first question here is, how far is point Q from the point P? Second question is, in which direction was the vehicle moving before it stopped at point Q? And the last one here is, in which direction is point Q with respect to the point P? To solve all the given questions, we need to trace the movement of the vehicle as given in this information. And that can be done as follows. The first point here is, a vehicle starts from point P and runs 10 kilometers towards north. So let us assume that this is point P, that is the starting point of the vehicle and it has moved 10 kilometers towards north. We very well know that north should be on top here. So the vehicle moves in this direction and it covers a distance of 10 kilometers. After covering a distance of 10 kilometers, it takes a right turn and runs 15 kilometers. Right turn of that person will be towards right on the paper. So now the vehicle has changed the direction towards right and it runs 15 kilometers. So let us assume the vehicle covers now a distance of 15 kilometers and it stops at this point. After covering this 15 kilometers, it now runs 6 kilometers after taking a left turn. Now if you can observe here, the vehicle is moving towards the east direction and it runs 6 kilometers after taking a left turn. As we have already discussed, when a person is moving towards east, the left of the person should be towards top. So vehicle now has turned towards top, that is in the north direction and it has covered a distance of 6 kilometers. After stopping at this point, it finally takes a left turn. Now vehicle now is moving towards the north direction and it now takes a left turn, that is left on the paper and runs 15 kilometers. So the vehicle now takes a left turn and runs 15 kilometers. So this distance is 15 kilometers. And finally it stops at point Q. So this is the stopping point and it can be taken as the point Q. So as given in the question we have traced the movement of the vehicle as shown here. The vehicle starts from point P runs 10 kilometers towards north. Then it takes a right turn and runs 15 kilometers. Then it takes a left turn and moves 6 kilometers. And finally again it takes a left turn and runs 15 kilometers and stops at point Q. And after doing this we can answer the given questions. The first question here is how far is point Q from point P? That means we are supposed to find out the distance between point Q that is the stopping point and point P that is the starting point. As we can see here the distance between point P to point Q can be taken as 10 kilometers plus the distance between these two points and that is nothing but 6 kilometers because these two are parallel to each other. So the distance here is given as 6 so this can also be taken as 6. So overall the distance between point Q and point P can be taken as 10 plus 6 that is 16 kilometers. So the answer for the first question here is 16 kilometers. The next question is in which direction was the vehicle moving before it stopped at point Q? So we are supposed to find out the direction of the vehicle before it had stopped at point Q. Very clearly before stopping at point Q the vehicle was moving in this direction and this is nothing but the west. So we can say that the vehicle was moving towards west before stopping at point Q. So the answer for the second question is west. And the last question here is in which direction is point Q with respect to point P. So we are supposed to identify the direction of point Q with respect to point P. Now to solve this question let us assume that we are standing at point P. And 
now if we observe point Q is towards the north of point P as to reach point P we have to move in the northern direction so we can say that the point Q is towards north of the point P so the answer for the third question here is north Remember while solving these type of questions we need to be a little careful why because if the point P and Q are interchanged in the question the answer also gets changed for example if the question is in which direction is point P with respect to point Q then we need to assume that we are standing at point Q and then P becomes towards the south of point Q so in that case the answer would be south. So be careful whether the question is point Q with respect to point P or point P with respect to point Q. So mostly in bank exams we only get these type of questions which can be very easily solved by tracing the movement of the person or the vehicle.